Rebecca Meyer is here today with a mixed media abstract she created. Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Julie. So this is beautiful, and when I first looked at this piece, I thought that you had just, you know, done a lot of work on top of canvas, but you're telling me it's actually a collage. It is a collage. It's um, painted paper, mixed media papers that I've decorated in a variety of ways. And now there are a lot of ways to get a perfect circle. You could go ahead and use a circle cutter, you could trace a plate or something like that. I'm gonna use my electronic cutter because it's just quick and easy and I know how to do that. So I'm just putting the mixed media paper onto the mat, and then we're gonna load it into the machine. Now, of course, if you didn't wanna do a circle, I'm thinking you could do all kinds of cool shapes. Oh, sure. Stars, hexes, if you had a card mm -hmm. player in your life, yeah. you could pick, you know, an ace of spades or something fun like that. And then you just resize it to whatever you want that's gonna fit your canvas. And then we're gonna set it, and we're gonna go ahead and cut it. Now, Rebecca, when you're thinking about creating these kind of collages, mm -hmm. is there a reason that you're starting with a circle as opposed to another shape? I just really like circles. It's just a preference of mine, but I like your idea of using, you know, any kind of geometric shapes. And I notice if we look at the finished one that you have a lot of empty space there, and yes. you're using that space, though, I feel like. Yes, with um, the addition of the strips, so it's really just kind of intuitive. I like that. I think that any time you are making art that is intuitive and that you're just, you know, not thinking too hard or planning ahead, mm -hmm. you know, that's the kind of art that you ought to be making that. Yeah, it's more relaxing that way. And art should be fun. You betcha. So you are going to decorate that paper. I am. I have a gel. Plate. You have a, some, some kind of gel plate, gelatin mm -hmm. plate, and you're just going to go ahead. Now, that's a soft surface if people aren't familiar with yes. it that's used for mono printing. Yes. Can we and tell people what mono printing is? It's um, putting, or putting your paint down, um, putting some kind of design on the paint, and then lifting it. And, of course, the mono means that it's a singular, one-of-a-kind, right. Rebecca Meyer right. original, right. never recreated, right. always a little bit different. Yeah. So that's what makes it fun. Exactly. So I'm going to lay, I applied my paint, and I'm going to lay down a stencil. And you know, I love that you didn't go to the edges of the gel plate, mm -hmm. you actually let it just sort of be what it is. It right. gives it a more organic feel right. that I totally associate with your art. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I've got the stencil laid down, and then I'm going to place our cut circle. And I want to point out that that is an adhesive-backed paper, yes. so you're not putting the side that's just backing paper right. down. There is right. a right side right. to put down. Yes, so I'm just going to burnish this a little bit with my hands. Best tools out there, man. You betcha. And you come away with a it's print. It's so fantastic. I love how the stencil has given you all these beautiful lines. The texture from the paint, it's really fantastic. Yes. Now I, this is obviously very wet, so yes. I'm gonna move it out of the way. Yes, and this as well. Okay, I'll take that from you. So this is one that I've done previously. So what I'm going to do at this point, you can see I have already have a couple different colors. I was gonna say, it looks like you just stenciled twice using mm -hmm. two different colors mm -hmm. of green. And what you can do then is add your, um, however Some you want. Some hand marks yeah. with a watercolor crayon. Right, right, so whatever you like. However you want to add some colors and you know, you can blend these and. Now I'm just wondering, are you adding all of that watercolor crayon because you're um, looking for more a different texture or you're looking for a different color? What's um, the reasoning behind texture, it? Texture, it's a different texture. Mm -hmm. And I just like how it looks. So I would add a little bit of water to that. And the next step is to add our strips. First I apply the circle and I would have gone into more detail with um, decorating the circle. That's where I get lost, in the yeah. details, because mm -hmm. I'm a more is more. You're kind of more of a minimalist, I yes. feel like, than yes. I am. You, you like a are clean right. look. Yes. The idea of white space cries out to me, fill mm -hmm. me, fill, fill, it, fill me. It, fill it. Yeah, so um, that's what's nice, so I can just put it down, and then these strips that we just talked about, I would add them. So this nice deckled edge that you have here, is that from, uh, did you cut that, did you rip it, how did you achieve that? I just tore them. You can cut them or tear them, um, cut them on like we did the Do circle machine. Do you mind machine. if I rip into your beautiful no, paper not here? At all. So you can see that it obviously ends up as a big sheet, which obviously we can rip just like that. And you can see that as you 
cut it down. It's important when you're decorating these papers to have dense patterns so that you really mm -hmm. see everything. Yes. Because if it was just a color wash, you would lose a little bit. And then I'm just gonna pull towards myself you know, mm -hmm. and I can control the rip a little bit if I pull to the side, Yes. you know, and it's different if you pull front. And mm -hmm. I think that's a fun thing to experiment mm -hmm. with how different rips look. So obviously I would spend a little bit more time with this and I would probably do some stamping. So um, were these the, stencils? That was a monoprint with a piece of wood that I had. Cool, and then I can see you're layering in some stamps right mm -hmm. now, just yes. using regular ink. And of course, because this was all on adhesive back paper, you didn't even need to use adhesive. Right, right, that makes it very convenient. So what are you doing now, Rebecca? Right now, I'm adding another design element, and I'm just dipping my cap into the black paint. And it and makes perfect circles. circles. And then I'd also, I'd like to um, gild the edges a little bit especially the torn ones with just some metallic gold paint. That's so interesting. So you do that after it's already been adhered. Yes. And then finally, another element is I like to just add some marker lines. And so you're using a, a ruler. That's interesting. Why aren't you doing it freehand? Um, because I like the, uh, the linear look of it. You know, I want it um, it's most back cases, to contrast, yes, right? Yes. You're trying to get the contrast between mm -hmm. the deckle edge and the strong right. line. So a variety of different things that I all put together and then you end up with a piece of art that you could um, hang on a wall. Give um, us a gift. Gift, you could make a smaller one on a card. It's beautiful, thank you, Rebecca. This was fantastic. Great. thank you.